hello there leos welcome to your reading so <clears throat> the first image that i have for you guys is um i see this lioness she's uh emerged out of a cave and in the cave it's assumed that you know she's got her little cubs they're growing and she's going out to hunt or to going out to to go out to scout the territory in the surrounding area so there's a cave that's a little bit hidden by the bushes and she's emerged from the bushes out into the open and there's this man in a safari outfit okay he's got like a musket it looks like a musket and um he knows that's where she is and he knows that's where you know the the cubs are so he's kind of like crouched down near a rock about to take a shot at her she senses it and she gives out a very very like earth shattering really ra loud uh roar and i think it scared the man because then he just disappears and she stays there and and you know stays watch stands watch for like another few hours and then she goes off and you know does her thing does her hunt which is really weird because i believe that um with animals i believe it's the male that goes out to hunt not the female especially when they have cubs but i'm not really sure how that really translates over in the animal kingdom um, but either way, she is, you know, scaring somebody off with the, the sheer force of her fury. Um, what I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of messages here from that image alone. And what I feel is uh, there is a situation in your life that you feel very strongly about, very passionate about. And I feel like in a way you're very, very protective of the things that you believe in. You're also very protective of the people that you love. And I feel like you're willing to put yourself in the crosshairs, in the crossfire, in order to protect what is really dear and close to you. And you're in a position where you are not budging. I feel like, you know, you're, you're going as far as telling somebody, this is where I stand. This is like my um, line in the sand. And this is, you know, something that you will not cross. Otherwise, you will experience my wrath. Or, you know, I'm not budging, um, I'm defending my territory, and um, I'm not going to budge. So I feel like, you know, the energy for the month of April is all about you demarcating your line in the sand and telling people, don't cross me. This is my limit. This is my breaking point. This is where, you know, um, this is kind of like, I I'm, I'm hearing the word um, deal breaker. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, um, there is a sense of, you know, territoriality, defending what you believe is yours, uh, your territory, defending the people that you love, defending a situation, defending a belief. Okay, so it's coming in very, very strong Leo energy where you are really exerting yourself out into the world. And... Um, I feel like it's a, an appropriate image, mainly because we are shifting into the time of um, Aries. So that energy ran from the 21st of uh, March until the 21st of April. And I feel like, you know, the first half of this month is all about that. Uh, we're in, we're shift, we have shifted into like another fire sign energy. And I feel like you're going to feel a lot more at home, a lot more at ease, a lot more willing and able to kind of like voice your opinions. Um, and especially standing in your regality and defending the things that you believe in. Okay, so it looks really good. Um, there is another image that I, uh, I saw as well. And uh, I see this woman on a cliff. She's holding like a basket, a, a really round and flat basket. And she's got like dry berries in the basket, okay? And uh, what's coming towards her? It looks like a pterodactyl. It looks like a half dragon, winged dragon, kind of small. And um, everybody in the village is all like, you know, no, don't feed that uh, animal. It's a, it's a carnivore. It feeds on, you know, flesh. It feeds on humans. It feeds on um, other animal carcasses. And this woman, she lives in the cliff, and she has this basket of berries. And she goes, 
I'm not gonna let it die so I'm gonna feed it whatever I have that's lying around she has like baskets of berries dry fruits and things like that so she goes out into the cliff every day and it, it goes out to meet her and it's a lot smaller than her it's like half her body size and she feeds it berries and then it's like you know all happy eating the berries and then every day she does that she comes and feed it berries so you're changing somebody's um, genetic makeup you're changing somebody's uh, tendencies inclination you're changing somebody's ways of doing and I feel like you're showing them that there is a better way okay so that's what I'm feeling the fact that you know this animal is a carnivore it's uh, it's it, it's genetic makeup or it's um, biological wiring makes it a carnivore and yet she's able to feed it from infancy, you know, uh, or even like changing its uh, dietary habits, mainly because she's kind of telling it, this is the, the better way to go, or this is the only way moving forward, because this is all that I have to feed you. And yet it still, you know, faithfully comes back every day. So something is working. Um, I feel like, you know, for many of you, if there has been a big problem in your life where somebody's behaving a specific way, you're able to change their thoughts, you're able to change their mind, and you're allowing them to kind of like overcome their innate tendencies in order to see a situation in a better way or to change somebody's thoughts and mind and heart to do something the way that you want, okay? So we have a lot of powerful um energies coming through for this month where you are definitely um i definitely see like win over a situation um demarcating you know your space marking your territory as well as really rallying for the things that you want and the things that you believe in and you know not really budging not compromising really standing in your truth and letting people you know have a piece of your mind okay so the energy is really powerful i'm going to try to get out the rest of the cards um you don't have a lot of jumpers here so let's just see The road to leadership is a very lonely path. That's the message of, I got when uh, the Six of Rods came out. So let me revisit that thought in just a little bit. I need two more cards, please, for Leo for April. Okay, we have two. Okay. So the road to leadership is a very lonely path okay there are many many difficult decisions that we have to take and uh, especially if we are like a very strong matriarch or patriarch of our family um, I feel for many of you it's it's almost like you're the one that has to move the obstacles or move the mountains in order for everybody else to follow suit so I feel like many of you are thrust or are have already been in leadership position okay we have here the six of wands and this um, is all about leadership leading the, the charge leading the way um, she this person is riding on a horse and they've got a lot of people cheering them on a lot of people kind of like uh, following their lead and a lot of people that trust that this is a rightful leader that has a lot of wisdom a lot of skills a lot of expertise that will not lead us astray so not only is this a card about physical accomplishment in the real world, you know, managing people, supervising people, telling people how to do things in a proper way, getting a lot of recognition, being thrust in a position of power or leadership because people really, really believe that you have what it takes to lead others and not lead others astray. And so once again, um, what I heard was, you know, the, the road to... Uh, leadership is it can be a lonely road mainly because you have your truth that you are definitely sticking by regardless of what other people might say or might feel about what you're doing okay sometimes we have to make the the difficult decisions and uh, one of the examples that came to mind is 
And uh, this is something that I've seen play out a lot in a work situation. Um, your supervisor, for example, if you're in a supervisory position or if you're working under and you have a supervisor, your supervisor is not supposed to be your friend, okay? Um, we should, you know, promote people according to merits. We should demote people according to their demerits. And we should always assign projects, assign, um, assign things to people based on their skills, their expertise. So the fact that, you know, um, we're not supposed to be friends with our subordinate, I feel like it speaks a lot to it speaks a lot to fairness and justice and you know just the whole concept of being able to rule almost like with with with, with strength and with clarity and not let the, the 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 human emotions and you know the the friendship ties and all of those things affect the decisions that we make from this higher vantage point so i hope that makes sense because I'm seeing a lot of things here where there is socializing, like socializing in the work front, okay? Like, so um, I'm seeing like people coming in by your office, gossiping about so-and-so, and I feel like these people might be subordinates. These people might be working under you or they are in a position that is be be below you, like they're answering to you or they're answering to other people that are in your same position. And they're bringing in a lot of gossip. So the Three of Cups is traditionally, um, you know, all about social socializing, mingling. But I feel like there is a lot of socializing, mingling on the job, and I feel like it's affecting the morale of a of a work environment. It's almost like uh, singling people out for um, as subjects of gossip, singling people out for. It's just not a healthy environment and i feel like you are turning your back on that okay you're turning your back on on this this type of low vibrational energy mainly because you're thinking especially if this is at work and i feel like it is with the six of pentacles here this is about fairness this is about the distribution the the weighing out the pros and the cons as well as trying to do the things that is just and that is right trying to give people the benefit of the doubt not listening to what other people say about that one specific person but then judging the other person based on their contribution based on their merits based on the tangible physical things that you feel that person contributes regardless of what other people might say about this person so i feel like there's somebody in your miss that is very different from the herd. They're not a bandwagoner. They beat to their own drums. We have here the hermit. It's someone who is a little bit inclusive. They do their own thing. They might be a little bit slower than other people around them. Okay, and the reason I say that is um, I'm getting like the age might be a factor. So everybody in your work environment might be a little bit more, you know, on the younger age scale. Hence, there's this cattiness and a little bit of gossip. And then somebody else that is a little bit more like mature and they feel like they don't really fit in this environment. They don't really care that they fit in and they just feel like I don't really want to be a part of this energy. I'm just going to, you know, nose to the grindstone, do my own thing, do my own work. And at the end of the day, you know, it, it's like we're here to work. We're not here to socialize and mingle and commit time theft. And, you know, so that that's where I feel like you are at or you are defending somebody who is a target of gossip. And you're just like, I'm, I'm over it. We're just here to work. We're not here to, you know, uh, mull over this energy. So you're turning your back and you're moving forward. And I feel like that's why they say being in a leadership position a lot of the times too, you know, we're not, we're not supposed to be friends to our subordinates. We're supposed to be fair. We're supposed to be just. We're not supposed to um, feed into this type of uh, low vibrational energy. We're supposed to turn our nose up. Uh, at it because this is a proper situation for you to turn your nose at and you need to just kind of um, not listen to the gossip 
and just you know do your own thing let your intuition guide you away from this or let your intuition help you decide who is a worthy person for promotion for example who's a worthy person for me to give this project to even though the decisions that you make and the people that you you really rely on they might not be a popular choice but they are the right choice okay so i, I definitely feel for many of you um there might be a little bit of gossipy cattiness in the work front and i see you kind of like squashing it it's like i see this boot landing down really hard on the ground and just like you know digging your heels in squashing something nipping something in the bud not letting something um fester and not letting it's, it's almost like you're you're telling somebody this is not acceptable behavior get back to work it's almost like that and i feel like the cornerstone of it is this uh, muted um, energy behind the scenes where somebody's like talking about other people or like they're they're like leaving their workstation in order to gossip in order to exchange stories and the work is not getting done and I feel like you might have um, whoever was in charge might have turned their nose up at it I'm seeing a lot of people who are cowardly okay i'm seeing a lot of people in your work environment maybe like a fellow co-worker who might be in a, a supervisory position uh they are aware of this and nothing has done, been done about it because i feel like what it is is they're weighing out you know if i put myself in the crossfires if i put myself in the crosshairs and say something these people are not going to like me so i definitely feel somebody who is a little bit cowardly who is in a position of prominence and they have the voice of authority for some of you you could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo or a capricorn somebody who is in a position of authority and they should have nipped the situation in the bud but they let it uh, fester they let it go on for a really long time and now it's like they might have told you to do it or you feel like you know this person is not ruling the right way they're not living up to their capabilities they're too cowardly to act on this so i'm going to take charge of the situation and i feel like as a result of it people are really seeing you as a major player in your work environment okay um i'm also seeing if this is something that you need to do um, I, I also feel like there might have been a falling out recently based on the way that you might have handled the situation and I'm sensing that you might not realize as well like you, you feel like you didn't do anything wrong okay you feel like you didn't do anything wrong you turn your back on this so that's what I'm getting here um, what I have here the last four cards I have a situation here that where you had to leave people behind and I'm seeing a lot of water energy as well as sword energy, okay? So water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Air, um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I have here the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Letting people walk away from your life who are no longer contributing, okay? Who are no longer putting in the effort, who are no longer putting in the energy, who you are no longer emotionally invested in. So this is a severance, walking away, um, dealing with people at where you kind of know where you stand with them because they've revealed themselves. And I'm seeing somebody who might be a little bit two-faced, uh, somebody who like, you know, say one thing when they mean another, say one thing when you're out of sight, and then they say another thing when you're in the pictures. So I definitely feel there is somebody who's very duplicitous. And I feel like a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm seeing very, very strong Pisces and Cancer and then um, Aquarius Gemini and Libra air sign energy and I, I feel almost like for some of you there might have been some type of a third party situation where somebody is um, giving to two people and they're not being upfront and honest about it for some of you this might have already happened in the month of March and I feel like, you know, the month of April is where you're processing all the information, okay? I'm also feeling as well, there's a lot to be said here, this three energy, three spilled cups, three of swords, where I feel like you're coming to this sense of awareness. You're coming to this sense of like, 
this person didn't choose me or they really, really hurt my pride. And when you you hurt a Leo's pride, you know, when you pick prick their, their pride, it's um it's almost like they could love you, they could love you to death, but they will never ever ever give you the benefit of the doubt. They will never put themselves back in that situation where they can be hurt or where you you prick their pride. So I definitely feel a situation where you turn your back on it. You definitely just turn your back and you're like, I deserve a lot more. I'm not going to be begging anybody to choose me. I'm not begging anybody to come back. And I'm not going to let anybody see me hurt, see me um, cower, see me injured or disappointed or hurt that I was not the chosen one. So I feel like somebody, you know, thought that you would be coming back to them. And I'm sensing that I feel like you do you did really care about them. And I feel like, you know, you they really cared about you. But they took a they made a poor choice. This was a, a terrible lapse of judgment in their mind. And they don't realize that once you make up your mind, they don't realize that you're a fixed sign. Once you make up your mind, you stick to it. And especially, you know, once like somebody hurts your ego or hurts your pride, that's it. There's no going back. There's no second chances. You kind of wash your hands of it, even though it hurts, even though it stings, even though it is disappointing, even though you're still, you're always going to remember this. And so I definitely feel like, you know, somebody picked the wrong person to mess around with. Somebody picked the wrong opponent. Somebody really should not. It, it's a very, very poor lapse of judgment. And as a result of it, you are kind of just crossing them off your list. OK, it's like you're you're now on my um you're now blacklisted. I'm no longer going to get involved in this. I'm seeing like the faucet and the hand rinsing. So like you're washing your hands clean of this situation and you're turning your nose up at it. But I feel like it's a very appropriate gesture because you don't want to be involved in it anymore. And we have here the Ten of Swords. It really does hurt, Leo. It really did a number on you. And I feel like this is not something that you will admit to other people. Like, this person really hurt me. Here are all the ways in which they hurt me. And the other person will never get get the, the satisfaction of seeing you, you know, uh, sitting there explaining to them all the ways in which they hurt you. I feel like there was a serious breach of trust here. Somebody did something that they promised they would never do. And I definitely feel like there might have been a social situation, like a, a love relationship type of a situation. If you are starting out dating and socializing with somebody, um, it's, it's almost like they made plans with you. And then at the last minute, they cowardly, I'm getting so frustrated with whoever you're dealing with. They cowardly withdrew, pulled away, didn't have the nerves to tell you, didn't, you know, have the dignity to they didn't have the dignity to give you the truth and they expect you to kind of like you know check up on them follow up on them are we still on are we, are, are we still doing this and you're just like no you're you're blacklisted now you don't get to talk to me you don't get to communication to communicate with me i'm ghosting you and i feel like you know they're cowering in fear they're assessing the situation and trying to figure out how do I make this come back? How do I fix it? Because I feel like you're dealing with somebody who never takes life seriously. And the energy that I'm seeing here for the Leo people, you're very serious. And there, there's definitely nothing wrong with that, okay? You're very serious at work. You get your, your, your things done at home. You run your household. Like, you know, the, the food, the meals are always on the table. Um, meal time is like clockwork. Uh, night time is like clockwork. You know, all the kids are bathed. All the kids are put to bed. Um, you de delegate like certain time frames for your friends, for your family, 
for your children, for your significant other. Everything in your life is perfectly compartmentalized because who has time for BS, right? You're a busy woman or male watching this, whoever you are that's watching this, the Leo person, not the cross watcher. You're very serious. Everything is neatly compartmentalized and everything in your life is neat and orderly because you have a gazillion things to do. And you're dealing with somebody who is just like, their energy is very, very low. They wake up and then they decide, what am I gonna do today? You know, I have like so much free time. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna talk to this person and see if they wanna get lunch. I'm gonna talk to this person and see if they wanna watch a movie. So it's like you're dealing with somebody who's very fluid, who is very like easily, I, I feel like, they, they, they sway with the tides, okay? And I feel very strong here, the moon. The moon signifies, um, this is like a Cancer um, Pisces type of energy. They're very, very fluid. It's like, uh, I'll, do, I'll go along with whatever the group wants. You know, whoever wants to do this, I'll go along with it. And you're just like, who has time for that? Who has time to sit there and crowdsource and, and try to decide you know what to do today asking everybody for their opinion who has time for that so you're like every time you deal with this person you've been very frustrated okay to a certain extent leo can be very very um understanding but there has to be that baseline you know love and mutual respect to begin with when you love somebody if it's a family member who's um, on, who's had like you know a, a rough patch, who's uh, hit like a bump in the road, and they need you, you're always going to be there because that baseline has been established. You love this person. This person is your clan. This person is your family. But if it's some random stranger waltzing in and expecting you to kind of like um, just be there on the sideline so that they can sort out things in their own life while having you wait for them, that's a major no-no. And I feel like for many of you, there's a situation here where I feel like the other person really does care about you, okay? But they weren't taking the situation seriously. I feel like if you're newly dating, it's a person that had a lot of options. They're getting back into the world. They're super indecisive and um, they're, they're more like, you know, go with the flow, come what may type of an attitude. And I feel like it drove you nuts. And I feel like you've had to cut this person out. If you're dealing with this type of wishy-washy energy, um, set your intentions early, make your intentions known very early that, you know, I have a limited amount of time in the day. I devote my time to the people that matter to me. So don't waste my time. Okay, and I feel like that is something that needs to be said in every context, like friends, co-workers, subordinates, love interests. That is something that we need to establish early on. And uh, fixed signs are really stickler for, for time, appointments, and, you know, punctuality. And, like, um, you, can, you can make plans with a fixed sign, like, months before. On the day of, they're always going to show up because... They value punctuality, they value and they honor engagement, okay? In whatever sense that's made, they, they really honor that. And so they will never forget. And so a slight to this is a major disrespect. And I feel like that, that's what it comes down to. There's a situation here where it's like a slight, like an action is, is it's, um, it's a minor action that has a whole a host of other consequences and i feel like somebody just you know slipped up in a in a major way in their mind it's like oh it's just one thing but no in your mind it's like the total amount of disrespect you know it's it's like all of these things that you're doing shows to me that you're putting yourself first. You're not putting anybody else above your ego. So I feel like there's somebody here that made a really poor lapse of judgment in their interaction with you. The last card that we have is the chariot. And the chariot is like mustering all of your courage, all, all of your strength in order to move forward. So Leo's, I feel like it hurts 
okay? I feel like it really, really hurts. And I feel like there's a, a big part of you where it's like, it, it really hurts your pride. And you're not admitting to this person. You're not giving them, you know, the satisfaction of seeing you uh, brokenhearted. You're burying yourself in work. You're moving on. And this residual energy, I wish I could say that, you know, coming into April is going to go away. I don't, I don't feel like it's, it's going to go away. But I feel regardless, you're pulling your strength in order to not let it show on your face. And you're moving forward, which is really beautiful. It's very, it's very courageous. It's very brave of you. But I feel like you also have to let the other person know how they have affected you. And I feel like it could be as simple as, you know, just telling them. I have a very limited amount of time and I spend my time and my energy. I, I block out the time for people that matter to me. You, once upon a time, you matter to me. I allocated this amount of time for you. And, you know, you, you fudged up all of these plans. So... You don't get that time anymore. And that's why I'm moving on. Giving them the benefit of, um, giving them that peace of your mind is going to be the satisfaction that you need to really move on because I feel like you're upset and I feel like you're, you're suppressing it. Every time you feel that anger, come on, you suppress it. So you don't really know why you're angry. You don't know why you're angry. And I feel like moving ahead without, you know, having internally worked out these um, disappointments or these issues, it can be unhealthy. Give that person that peace of your mind because I feel like that's what it is. You've got a lot of things going on in your life and you've allocated a certain amount of time for this person and they were disrespectful. And um, I see them on the outside looking in, okay? You might also be dealing with an earth sign, but I'm seeing more water and more air. If you have an earth sign, they're very reliable, earth signs in general, but I feel like, you know, the placement of this king of pentacles, this is um, a, a really strong, I'll be there for you, you know, like whatever you need, I'll, I'll be there. Um, very slow moving, can be a little bit frustrating to deal with, but they are honorable. They're truthful, faithful, very honorable. Um, if you have had like issues where there might have been trust issues, there might have been, you know, like rumors or flirtation, I don't feel like it's a, an earth sign. Okay. And um, I feel like if you have an earth sign in your life, they're trying to balance things out in their, their, they might have like two jobs that are coming in and they're trying to decide between that. Okay. They're also in a situation where they might be going through a lot of job interviews, which is good for them. So just be a little bit patient. But on the other hand, I feel like there is somebody on the outside looking in. They don't even know how to approach you. I feel like their, their apologies are falling on deaf ears. I feel like they don't have the knowledge. I'm looking at this. It's almost like this. It's hollow. So I feel like the heart chakra might be hollow. Or it's somebody who's looking in. They're, they're trying to get their back to you. They're trying to approach you. They're trying to uh, elicit some type of communication from you. But you've already shut the door. You know, um, lock the padlock. Like you, you've already disappear because this is a situation where somebody seriously misjudge a situation i'm sorry leos um i'm gonna be back in about two weeks time for your reading and um you know hopefully this energy will clear up but i feel like you have to tell people why what they did and why that uh that is not acceptable you don't have to say, you know, it hurts me so badly. Like you, you puncture my heart. You don't have to go into details because I feel like it's not necessary. All you have to tell them though is, you know, you wasted my time. 
I have a very limited amount of time. I have a lot of people that need me. So let me just, um, can I get three cards please to clarify the Ten of Swords? And then we'll um, end the reading, okay? I feel for some of you, there might have been a job that you applied for and they went with the first candidate and um, that for whatever reason didn't work out and then they called you after the fact and they, they you know, told you, we have here the sun, which is success, okay, worldly success. We have the magician trying to manifest things and then we have here the knight of rods. So there's definitely uh, a situation where it could be work where you went you did everything that you were supposed to do and um i feel like you know the the um the person went with somebody else and then that that situation fell apart and they contacted you like a month later or like months later and told you by the way we want you and you're like what took so long they're like oh we went with another candidate and um it didn't work out and i i feel like you're just like then you're coming to me because i'm second choice that's what it feels like and then I also feel there was a situation here where you're definitely dealing with somebody who had, um, who has this type of an energy, very, very successful, very, very smart, thought that they could, um, they were too big for their britches, okay? It's somebody that didn't see, that they had a lot of options on their table. They didn't see the value in the merits. And I feel like, you didn't stick around for this because there's just no need okay we have your energy here coming in as the knight of rods very innocent very hopeful and we have this playful energy but deep down i feel like you are a very serious person because it's all fun and games until somebody's uh somebody gets hurt right so i feel like there was definitely a situation here where somebody didn't take you seriously and they're trying to make a comeback. They're trying to approach you. They're trying to communicate. But I'm definitely seeing that you're blocking the communication. So I'm sorry, Leos. Um, I'll be back in about two weeks' time, okay? Hopefully this energy will clear up. But either way, um, things will... You're, I see you moving on, so I'm not too worried about you. I just feel like if you're angry, you're, you might not realize why that is. And it's really important for you to tell that person the reason, okay? We don't owe it to anybody, but I feel like, you know, from one human being to the next, it's important to know what we did wrong. You can tell them the reason and then, you know, ghost them moving forward. Because I feel like the person didn't realize. They, they, were, they were irresponsible. They didn't realize the... Um, that their, their careless actions have real world, long-term consequences. And I feel like that's what they needed to know, okay? I hope you guys feel better. I'll talk to you, to you uh, in about two, two weeks time, okay? For those who are interested in a reading, I do have a link in the description box for this psychic. She's based out of California. Her name is Bridget. Um, if you're looking for spiritual guidance, if you know someone who's looking for spiritual guidance, I highly recommend that you book a reading with her. Okay, she's phenomenal. So I'll just leave it at that. Take care.